God damn it. No one will ever no one let no one ever tell me that I did not try to make love happen. Let no one tell me I did not try to make love happen. I have I have here my trusty I have here my trusty uh Gek computer of love. And I this evening have have uh 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 c c computed with I haven't thought too deeply into the lore of this. I have computed with uh, uh, mathematical accuracy, four extremely compatible dates, and by God, I—that is all a lie. I, I have no idea how this is gonna go. But isn't that always the fun of Gecko streams? Thank you all for being here this evening to witness love, to witness life, to witness potential romance at play. And and god damn it, I'm 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 sick of hearing the sound of my own voice and I'm ready to feel the waves of love, so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to our first two daters of the evening. And by the way, how this is gonna work, really, it's very simple. I'm just gonna set these people up to have a little chit chat with each other, you know, kinda like kinda like they met at a party. You know, and then I'll occasionally chime in with some uh, some conversational topics. To sort of set the mood, to keep the flow of the conversation going. And yeah, it, we'll fucking see how it goes. Alright, let's meet our first two daters. Hello, hello. I'm here with my cat. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, my name is Andrew. I like to cook at home. I do Italian-American food. Uh, your pastas, your chicken piccata, that kind of stuff. I, uh, I do the occasional hiking, walking, exercise, biking. Uh, just enough. I don't, I don't crank it. You know, just enough to make the doctor happy, basically. Or keep my gut, you know, okay. Uh, I'm here on the Gek date because I live right above San Francisco, which is nothing but boomers and, and weird people. Uh, you know, so it's like, where are the where are those millennials? Where are those late Gen Xers? Uh, what's going on? You know, and the whole online dating thing is just people that crank it at life all the time, and it's it's intimidating. And I want somebody casual. So if uh, you are, you know, just, you take it casual. You you watch you watch your Rick and Morty's. You you eat your spaghetti. You 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 know do your hikes. But you know you just take it easy. That sort of thing. That's what I'm on about. That's what I'm. What, that's what I'm down with. That's the kind of guy I am. All right. Hope everybody has a great day. Hope you have a great day. Hope I have a great day. Hello, my name is Louisa. I'm 23 years old and I live in Massachusetts. Even though I'm originally from Sweden, on my free time, I like to hang out with my cat RuPaul, who I adopted last August, I believe. I also love to make spreadsheets in Excel. I just live for data, you know, um, New Year's resolutions, budgets, all that fun stuff. And I also love to learn languages because I'm from Sweden originally. I speak English and Swedish and uh, also a little bit of Korean and French. I'm looking for someone who's funny, which is such a basic thing, but it, humor is really important to me. So that, and also someone who takes COVID seriously because we're in a fucking pandemic, so please, wear your mask, all that good stuff. I'm on Gek Date because the dating scene during COVID is, you know, different. And I thought this would be a fun thing to try. So, yeah, I look forward to meeting you, whoever you are, and having other people watch us, I guess. All right, and we're here with, with Lavisa and Andrew. How are you guys doing? Doing well, very well. Great. How are you, Lionel? I'm 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 hanging in there. Uh, you know, I thought you two would be a good match because you know Lavisa said she was looking for a guy with a sense of humor, and Andrew came off to me as just a big goofball. So um, yeah, I just kind of want to you know let you guys get to know each other and chat. Uh, I'm gonna put myself on mute and uh, I'll be chiming in occasionally with questions. But you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves. Okay. Well, Do you want to go uh... first? Sure. Uh, yeah, All I'm right, Andrew. They can't hear me. Um, I, I, don't, I wasn't able to see your video. I don't know if you're able to see my video. 
Uh, so chat's just gonna have to, you know, rehear what I said. Uh, I'm I live in California, uh, where it's always sunny. Um, uh, I, I work in an olive oil store. I do personal finance at home. Um, geez, uh, what else about me? I I, I I cook. I cook food. I cook spaghetti and bolognese uh, uh, sauce, and I like kangaroos. Who who knows what else you can know about me? But I, I'm me. Huh? Kangaroos in your food or not? No, in your no, food? no, no. I I have a silly list here of things to talk about, and kangaroos is the first list. Why well, he's I got don't a list. know what's on why it's on. He's there, got a list. There. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, uh, okay. So I guess about me, um, my name is Lavisa. I'm in Massachusetts, so I'm kind of as far away yeah, as I can be in the same country. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> which is great. I'm originally from Sweden. So um <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You mentioned um, doing finances at home, and I love working with data. So that's Ooh, kind of something I guess we, we have got in common. And um, we got a data on my free connection. time, I like to dance a lot. I used to be very into K-pop, which you know that puts a certain stamp on me. But you know, I don't care. It's fun. <laughs> right on. Uh, gosh, Massachusetts. So you're it's ten ten o'clock on the dot for you right now. Huh? Yeah, or, uh, I'm actually currently I'm in New Hampshire in the mountains, though. So it's I, hey guys, really dark. real quick, real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt, but would you, would you guys each tell each other um, what you think would make the world a better place? Oh, I have a serious answer. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the serious, um, dude. serious. Go ahead. Um, better He's education get generally about everything because. Decreasing misunderstandings increases most good things, in my, my opinion. Hold on, I gotta find my water bottle. I'm down with that. I I went to. All right, guys. I grew up in back. such a highly the educated, date, uh, like the the, the budgets going. for all the local schools here is so high. I had some amazing teachers. Uh, I mean, just just from like a personal perspective, like good education is a good experience. You know, so I'm I'm game with that. For me, I'll be, I'll be more more light. Um, I don't know. I bring. It, I always bring it back to food, dude. I was like respect, like access to good food. You know, like like homemade. You know, slow cooked. You know, meals for you know whoever needs it, even whoever doesn't need it. You know, gosh, you know, like I, I love the thought of like you know an old grandmother like stirring a big pot. You know, for everybody in the neighborhood. And what do you make guys everybody think? Happy. What do you think of this uh, match so that's, far? That's, what do you I think, think of it at change. first glance? Okay, I could get down with that. So, what um, what dish would you say is the best to bring the world together? Fuck yeah, oh, no. love love those um, follow up questions, Lovisa. That's a tough one. You know, I I grew up with my mom cooking like just stews. I, I guess stews because so stews you can, like you a can bad change it culturally. Can't you know, you can use lamb or no, nah, I like I think I like these or guys. Beef, or you can even make a turkey or vegetarian. It really, it really adds up. And then definitely you can, like, whatever nervous, you want to put on the stew, you can do, like, tortillas or bread or rice. Um, um, or even, I mean, does, does curry count as a stew? I don't, I don't know. I guess it could. I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question, but maybe. I Real quick. Sorry to interrupt again. Yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead. Could you each describe your relationship with your mother? Sure. You can start this um, one if you want. Uh, yeah, you go ahead. Um, I would say it's great. <laughs> She's very supportive. Uh, we talk a lot. Uh, now that I'm, I guess, an adult properly, we can Andrew have real conversations. Do his list of hang questions. out more like friends, which, which is always fun. So such a generic answer. Wow, this is an interesting experience. <laughs> you go ahead. Yeah. So my mother, uh, just to get out of the way, uh, she's no longer with me. Um, oh, but, I'm sorry. Uh, great. Ex yeah. Thank you. Uh, great experience. Uh, we used to go camping a lot, and she uh, she uh, she was very crafty. I, I like, had a feeling making making yeah, stuff work. You know, if there's a problem, she would figure out a way to get it working. Um, I loved it. She loves tie dye, and so. I, I, she was very creative, and I really. But fed he's off opening that. up emotionally uh, to her. That was great. Um, I, I learned, gonna I mean, bond them learned a lot of together. my own personality developed through that. Um, she, she, she loved humor. She loved being silly. 
yeah totally it was it was a good one um uh i don't know if lyle will chime in but um let's, let me no, think I'm of the question i'm gonna let you sit uh, in what? this so you have your, your list man come on use Elsa. your list you don't need me you have a list mm -hmm. lyle called you elisa before it started and then you, you don't said need me, something Andrew. You completely have a list. different which Pull out the list. went right through my head so mm -hmm. if you could repeat it and i'll forget it again What's my name is again? my name is levisa levisa like, oh, fuck, leviosa oh, fuck, but not leviosa Oh, I don't know if that helps or makes it more ridiculous. Oh, it totally does. If you can put a meme on it, yeah. Um, yes. That's a Swedish name, is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, I grew up there. I just kind of lost my accent when I moved here. So I'm kind of yeah, like an I, undercover I, American. Yeah, I, I could see that. How long did you live in Sweden? Uh, 14 years of my life. I'm game with that. Cool. So most of it. But then I moved around to like Abu Dhabi and some other places. So I've just kind of Abu been... Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Holy, what a, holy cow. What was that like? It was great. It felt like being on vacation all the time, even though I was in school and stuff. So. It's like a yeah. hotter stand here, California. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. what, what do you guys think is the scariest way to die? Gecko. <laughs> um, dude, I'm making I you pull out that super. list next, Andrew, by the way. I got. All right, all right, all right. Let's. I'm gonna go superhero. I watch a lot of superhero movies. Yo, if so, you guys have any um, questions, and, you know, I was gonna say that you guys could like ask die. questions in the like, chat, but I'm fucking throws dumb. A chunk of rock over so there. So if you have any questions, you want to ask? I feel like that's gotta be scared. Like the Hulk just coming out and. He is nervous, but he's doing standard. a good job. So I mean, that's not realistic. These people aren't real. They should be. They aren't. Uh something environmental like that just like this out of Are control giant mass of chaotic spaghetti just gone i don't know if that's deep or not what about i you? mean i wouldn't want to die like that <laughs> i'll just say yeah, that no. <laughs> i think i mean i've thought about this a little bit and i think a lot of people might say like uh dying from like frostbite cold or fire but i think you lose sensation pretty quickly mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be the worst i i heard like like hypothermia is like it's like a cuddle you know it's comfortable Ooh, i don't so, think i've heard that but something is <laughs> something like that <laughs> i wonder how many I mean, questions on his list are spaghetti kind of related creepy. you know just this is this, this, this makes my mind race a lot and <laughs> right I Good think question, Deco. Probably just um, torture would be pretty bad. I watch I, a lot of I crime documentaries, that. so I that's probably. Ask her a final question about the crime like, documentaries, oh, like, like, Andrew. I, I, medieval torture always gets me. You're in. Yes, like the oh, Iron Bowl. Right. <laughs> so this was a good question. Gosh, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, the gross things they do. I, I can't remember recall them, but I remember like get, getting lost on Reddit. And just reading about like medieval torture or Chinese, ancient Chinese torture, and uh, I'm just glad to be in this modern era. Yeah, what's something that a lot of people care about that you don't care about? Mm. Since this is a dating show, I'm gonna say height. Because I'm a pretty tall woman. I'm Let's five nine, go. almost five ten. Let's and fucking go. I don't care Let's if someone's shorter go. or taller or the Let's same. Fucking go. This doesn't matter to me. I don't see the point. That's a blessing. Five eleven or five ten, depending on my ID or not. There we go. <laughs> so, so there we go. That that's 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 great. Don't need corrective lenses to see or anything. Uh what I don't care about. I know there's things out there. Gosh, what I don't care. So what, what people do care about that I don't care about. Oh, I, I am stumped. I, I I have I have things in my noggin, and they're just not coming out. I mean, you have you have a list. Andrew. Maybe traffic. <laughs> you don't mean, mind traffic. Well, Wait, people did don't, he, I people didn't, care did about pull out a physical list at any point. The lack of traffic. And to me, I'm never like in a rush because I'm always late and that's fine. It's not, <laughs> but that's just how I do it. 
um i think so i mean uh, i'm going back to california we have the roads that are this small we have a thousand cars we don't build any roads everybody's angry and i guess uh, like i live in a i live in a little an old western village town that expanded way too fast and they just didn't build any more roads and every road was designed by a drunk donkey just squiggling around and they're tiny and everybody has big suvs and stuff and i just learned to accept it you know people want people care about wanting it to be easier and honking at each other and whatnot and i just i mean honestly i just ride the curb go over to pass somebody and go back on okay. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> But I don't hope hopefully that was a good answer. So a lot of times I like to argue that Massachusetts has actually worse traffic than California. What do you say to that? Ah uh, oh man, uh, honestly, probably. Um, I, I think our well, our issue with traffic is I, just, just I don't know what's going on with my Discord. All maybe? the people and the roads are tiny. But I'm in I'm above San Francisco, um, in in a tree infested area um la is a different story they have plenty of roads and way too many people and everybody's hot and bothered and they just want to get to chipotle as fast as they can so i get you have to divide the state so i think i think you win the argument in terms of my experience okay uh, i well what's traffic like for you it, it, describe uh i don't know well covid so we're not driving to work but i don't know when you drive to the the, the pasta store you know What's the experience like? <laughs> Why is that uh, that currently, I don't have a car, hostile. but when I did have a car, um, going to the work or the pasta store, either um, during important. like rush hour, I need to yeah. interject like, right, between on. like one or hold two on. hours. Like it was just. Hey guys, well, I got... what's yeah. uh, yeah. what's something you both think you have in common? Hmm. Oh, we have the. Ooh, I, have I mean, to I, feel I, like want... the, I feel like <laughs> in, maybe European ancestry. He's, he's going to ask her if she likes pasta. Well, look at my face. I'm Italian. Yes. Okay. Well, you said uh, you yeah. worked in an olive oil store, and I'm like, yeah. he has to be Italian, but I don't want to make an assumption. So I just kind <laughs> of assumed. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, both sides of my family. Sorry. Both sides of my family. Uh, Italy. Italy. Roma, a little bit of Sicily, Luca, and just a thousand other places. All right, guys, we and got then, this is uh, this, this right, is we got why seven I'm more not, minutes on this date. My family, like the generations, go like this: Italy. Give me some questions. America, Give me some questions. And the they chat. had babies in America. Those babies went back to Italy. They had babies. They went back to America, back again. Took the boat. Boat almost got shot That's down by the Germans, but questions. it didn't because they're lucky. Mm. And come over here, and I'm here. That's so. Yeah, I, I, American Italian uh, history. That's mm. that's me. Um, a little bit of Mexican from my mother's side, and hey I didn't do the. Yeah, go ahead. What's your biggest regret? Can I take all my regrets and just put them in a giant sandwich, and just like just a ton of mustard to mask the flavor, or something? <laughs> Yeah, just um, tell us all of your regrets <laughs> ever, right now, <laughs> please. <laughs> Gosh, God, when I was, I just have so many. Um, when I was a kid, I was playing baseball. I didn't like striking out because I was so self-conscious about striking out. So I, I, I forcibly like quit the game, and I like that's stored in my memory. It's like I left the game because I was such a twat. Um. God, um, other regrets. Uh, I, I so like social awkwardness when I was like younger, and I, I didn't have this personality or I knew how to talk to people, and so I just like do awkward things. I can't even it recall was before a he knew one. about spaghetti. I think I, oh gosh, um, that's another big regret. Uh, uh, you know, uh, here's here's a here's a, a job one. I used to work at a like a, a video production uh, little office. Nice, nice. And um, I I kind of wish I stuck with it. Um, I mm. at the time I wasn't going to college, um, and I honestly, if I stuck with it, I would have learned, um, you know, the ins and out of video production. We, we were gr they were growing at the That's time. Interesting. I probably would have been making you know more money than now. Um, that would it would I probably would have. I probably would have like gone to places and different shoots. I, I went to Portland with them, 
doing a doing a shoot at a uh, computing convention. Damn. When you say Portland, you mean Portland, Oregon, right? Because here we say oh, Portland, no Portland, Maine. <laughs> so I'm just there's another Portland. Gosh, that, that, that's like Vancouver. There's like 17 Vancouver's across the continental United States. Hmm. Jeez. Um, that's me. That's my sandwich line. How much like, money do you each have to your name right now? <laughs> um, you go first. <laughs> to my name. If you want to. I'm going to give a, a mysterious answer, I guess. Hold on, hold on. I got to do some math. I need a Sylvester. Do you have a pencil? Uh, okay, I'll do it in my head. Four, six. What? About a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Wow, very honest answer. I would yeah, say I'm... more like what did vague you say? terms because I would say I don't have enough to immediately pay off all my student loans right now. Yeah. But I do have enough to the point where if my apartment flooded and I lost everything that I have, I'd probably be able to rebuy everything. That's good. That's a I good think knowing situation. about... So I need to be a little honest about mine. Um, so some of that is under my own name. And then the other one is split between me and family. Mm. So now look, I feel it, like, look, like, look, yeah, there's an emergency. Give me shit. Look, my it's car important just to get finances out of the way I, I can up tap front into in a relationship. And, and keep, All right? keep the pumpkin rolling i'm saving these guys um, from but, arguments down the know, line my portion is a little bit smaller can i also oh. ask um or actually can you guess how old i am and i'll guess how old you are oh god okay okay all right before yeah, they so answer the I, <laughs> I know i have no idea what you said in your video <laughs> oh, i won't take offense if you think i'm older than i am i i won't no, I know. I'm actually trying. I'm like, I have, I have like the, the calculations going through my brain, mm. doing all the things. Yeah. Don't um, let the basement throw you off. This is my parents. I have, I have this number, but I'm going to say this number. Okay. Uh, 26. Nope. No. Nope. I'm, I'm 23. 23. Yeah. Okay. Turning 24 though, so, uh, I guess. So. All right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll call it 24. Okay. I think because you guessed 26, right. I'm assuming you're over 26. Just as a general assumption. Um, 27 and a half? That, that's good. Um, I'm 29. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we were both off. <laughs> yeah, we're both, we're, those, we're both terrible at this. Yeah. I mean, video call. What can we really go by? Oh yeah. Well, well this has our been our life for a whole year. Seeing right. people like this. Hey guys, before we go, how do you think this date went? I'd say, considering you know, I've never been on a virtual date before, good. Yeah, this has been this has been actually great. I'm happy. You know, I love it. I was very nervous. I have to say. Oh this, God! See, this worked that well. This <laughs> worked that kind of well. I honestly. had my friends are watching. I I told them I had to tell I had to tell people. I'm like, there's this thing and the people and the thing. Back. Fuck yeah, dude! So I have people watching. My neighbor is watching me right now. Wow. I, well, maybe, and then they're probably playing Fortnite. Who cares? Mm. Um, oh, yeah. But I, I don't know. I I'm happy I did this. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get deep uh, a little oh, bit. Oh shit! All right, well, I was about to end this, to but now I want to hear this. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like, like, especially the video. Like, I had a, yeah. <laughs> I had to, like, I had to build. It took me like, a, like, thirty minutes to build up my self confidence to be like, God, God, oh God. But like, the 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 cost and the payoff was. This was actually really fun. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. It was a good time. Thank you, Lyle. Thank you guys so much for being on Gek Date. Thank okay, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this a good has been night. Great. Number one. You have a good night too. You too. Bye. All right. Hold on. That was fun. Uh, how do I? Are those show they still on the call? No, I should have asked you for like cats. Hold on. I gotta fix this. I can we speak right now?
No, you've been disconnected. All right. Oh, shit. All right. I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> Fuck. My bad. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, chat. How do we think that went? How do we think that went? Well, you know what? Call in and tell me. 401472 Gek. I actually think that went okay. All right, hold on. Call from Brittany. Brittany, how do you think this date went? Oh, Brittany. Oh, hey, Lyle. Hey, Brittany, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm going to turn off the stream because I don't yeah, want to see yeah. chat. Wow, how do you, I how do you think this through. date That's went, Brittany? Cool. Honestly, can, all things considered, I don't think it was that bad. Me either. Um, I really don't think it was that bad. It, it, it could have been a real shit show. Mm -hmm. um, I think it wouldn't... I don't think this... How do I put it? Hmm. This format is very, I think, daunting for everybody involved. Oh, and absolutely. so, like, how... Yeah, so how could they feel perfectly comfortable to express themselves, especially because they're being watched by hundreds of people. I don't know how many viewers there are right now, um, so maybe a, a, a thousand or whatever, but, you know, it's... I think it was cute. I think it was cute. I missed the first bit, honestly. I tuned in a few minutes late, hmm. um, so I didn't see the beginning of their date, but I think it was cute. He was super nervous, like, incredibly nervous, so he was nervous you know, he was over talking. Mm -hmm. um, she was very calm, cool, relaxed, um, you know, and she's super, super pretty. Um, so he was probably nervous about that too. Because um, I'm sure everybody that submitted their, you know, videos to enter this dating pool, they were probably thinking, like, okay, what kind of people are going to be chosen for this like are you going to hey don't hey don't come at <laughs> don't don't come at the gack nation with all, <laughs> no, no 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 that's not what i'm saying that's not what i'm saying um i i'm saying like you could possibly like i don't know just like i don't know what if there was someone really I'm, you know what? I'm not you know what? You no, 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 Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. <laughs> no, you know what, Brittany? I agree with you. I agree with you. It's a tough look. It's a tough format. It's obviously a tough format, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, I feel like they they kept it pretty casual, you know, mm -hmm. for it they being a, a tough, a tough. They they got into they got into it a little bit, you know. I think I think they they sufficiently opened up with each other. I think that that. For like the very first, not just the very first time of them doing it, but I mean, that's the very first date of the night. That's the very first time we've ever done this before. I think they did mm -hmm. pretty well. I mean, I think they did better than than me. I fucked up at the end with the Discord thing. So they were champions <laughs> on that. No, I mean... I, I was kind of afraid, like, what if at one point either, like, maybe... They connected through Discord, right? It was through, like, Discord video chat? Yes. Yeah. So, like, what if Discord glitched out and then... Or their phone exploded or their laptop caught on fire or something? You know, and every the great... person would be left wanting. You know, all great entertainment has stakes, Brittany. That's true. That's true. Well, thank and you so much. you're a good entertainer. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for chiming in, Brittany. You have a great rest of the night. Thank you, Gek. Have a good night. You too. I got another I got another hot date queued up. I got another hot date queued up, everyone. You guys ready for this hot date? All right, everyone. Bring in 
your next two daters, Miranda and Sabrina. What's up, Gek? Uh, my name's Sabrina. I'm 23 years old. And yes, this is indeed a crocheted Shrek hat. I'm from New Jersey. Fun fact, Danny DeVito was born in New Jersey. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you like Danny DeVito, but I think he's great. So I would like to go on <laughs> Gek date because um, I'm pretty awkward. <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life and I don't really like socializing with people that I don't already know. So I'm just trying to step out of my comfort zone and meet new people, even if it's just for like a joke really and it doesn't go anywhere. Like I'm not going into this with any expectations. Someone who I would want in a partner, uh, I'd say Someone with a similar sense of humor to me. Um, I guess you should like Shrek since I have a Shrek hat. Um, I also like Pokemon, so if you like Pokemon too, that's dope. Um, but you have to like Bulbasaur, because if you don't like Bulbasaur, then I think that's, that's it. Okay, bye. Hi, my name is Miranda, or Miranda Bay on Twitch, and I want to find a date. I'm 21 years old, I'm studying chemistry in college, I like to make art, and sometimes I work out. Here's some of the art that I make, and this is the most recent thing I've made, it's a Spider-Man painting. I've also made some Lyle Forever fan art, and he drew me back. I sometimes hike a lot, and I used to row. I like playing games like Minecraft, Stardew Valley, and Pokemon. I'm planning on becoming a chemistry researcher. Fun facts, one time I shattered my left ankle, I met Napoleon Dynamite, and I wrote fanfic about Lyle. So I want to be on Gek Date just because I love Gek Nation so much, I love the stream so much, and I would just love to be on it. Also, I trust Lyle 100% to just pair me with someone super cool. I'm trying to look for someone that's super down to earth, nice, creative, and just encourages my stupid ideas. And I hope that everyone that gets on the show gets a really cool ass date, and I hope everyone has fun watching. Bye! Miranda and Sabrina, how are you guys doing? Work, I'm good. Hell yeah. I'm well, great. This is well, awesome. look, well, look, you know, you both uh, have affinities for fringe weird celebrities. <laughs> and um, you both like art. So I thought this would be a good match. Uh, so I'm going to just, you know, put myself on mute and I'm going to let you guys get to know each other. Okay. <laughs> um... I guess Sorry, what were I... you gonna say? <laughs> no, you're fine. I was gonna ask how you crocheted the Shrek hat. Oh, I didn't crochet it. it. Um, my ex oh, actually my... bought for me. It's the best gift I've ever gotten, so I kept it. I don't care. <laughs> no, I've been learning I'm, how to know, crochet, and I, know, I wanted I, know I, was, I wanted to make a frog her. hat, but I'm too oh, bad too at it. To do that yet. See, I'm not very really good at art stuff, like at all. Um, both of my sisters are very artistically inclined one musically one drawing and i'm just neither of those things <laughs> like i have to put a lot of effort into a drawing to make it look somewhat good which like i, mean, I don't know fine. i've gotten some like honorable mentions but i'm not like good <laughs> okay i think if you have honorable mentions that definitely means that you're good they're doing dude. well i do like um a picture of like a flower with a butterfly on it when i was in high school and i got honorable mentions at an art show but that was like the only good thing i've ever done Nah, I don't- I don't believe that. I'm sure it's great, dude. <laughs> I don't have yeah. it, so I can't show you, but... <laughs> That's okay. I guess, so... If you don't think you're the artistic one in your family, I guess, like, what- what do you like to do besides art stuff? Um... I- I agree- I, mean, I agree with Frog the Hippie in the chat. I, I, I sense really immediate sense of chemistry. I'm school and stuff, but... Um... I don't know, I kind of just fuck around i guess like oh yeah. yeah that's what life is about it's about yeah. fucking around and finding out what about you? you oh um i mean i like doing art stuff i like painting a lot um and then i'm also a huge nerd like i like studying which is really lame <laughs> no that's cool what do you study i like studying too uh i'm studying chemistry right now I have an associate's in biology, and right now I'm in school for ecology. 
So was, yeah, same kind of feel. Like I took Orgo Chem, so I kind of know a little bit about <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> Ochem, but, Ochem was so rough. It, it was, was so rough. Bad. Yeah. Like first day, I think my professor sat there and was like, two thirds of you guys won't make it to the end. And she was absolutely right. Two See, I went to a community people. college, so it was a lot easier. <laughs> but mm. <laughs> I wanted That's to see it, I'm, so. I'm like, I'm hesitant to, to pop in to with a question. That. It's going it so well. Money, and it's probably a whole lot less stressful, dude. Yeah. So. In your video, you said that you like Pokemon. I guess like- Hey guys. I actually, yes. Uh, Real quick, could you tell each other the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you? Do you want to go first? I'm trying uh, to think. Um, um, I mean, my sister got me a Bulbasaur plush. That was really nice. Do you want to see it? Yes, I want to see it. Can I give it a second? Okay. She's gonna have the Bulbasaur plush, dude. And you can tell Sabrina, Sabrina does not give up the Bulbasaur plush just for anyone. Oh shit, what's the nicest thing someone's done for me? Um... She doesn't bring it out just for anyone. Whoa! She doesn't bring it out just for anyone, dude. She gave me this for my birthday. That's huge, that's awesome. That actually is, is fucking huge. Um, yeah, I like it. Oh, this is... That, that was pretty cool. I think this is also one of the cooler gifts I've received. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything. That might have been a dumb one, but... No, that's not dumb at all! I love that! <laughs> what about you? That's perfect. I love, I, I love stuffed animals. Um, I guess the nicest thing that someone's done for me was uh, when I was like... I think like 14. Um, this like older lady that I knew like paid for me to go to Disneyland once because he felt bad that I hadn't gone before. It's kind of random. Cool. Yeah, she wasn't even related to me. She was just this old lady that I knew. She was like, it's here's some money. Go forth, go forth <laughs> she's, to Disneyland. She doesn't know how to respond. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Cool. Which is odd because there's so many follow-up questions, nice. I think. Like, who is this lady? Yeah, nice. Is it a random person? All right, I'm gonna jump. But I guess, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. I was debating <laughs> if I should wear them or not. Yeah, like I said earlier, I was debating whether I should wear my Shrek hat or not. <laughs> I decided against it. Hey, guys. <laughs> yes. What was the last time you cried? When was the last time I cried? Like a month ago, maybe? Uh, I, I feel been like. A while. I probably cried a little bit last night. Oh, my. <laughs> well, it's she only, seems it's so, because she I was so thinking, concerned. So I'm in quantum chemistry right now, and it's a shit show. It's so hard. Um, and I was taking an exam at like 10 p.m. I and I think, I think I shed a couple tears during that, but it wasn't. I wasn't like sobbing, you know. I was just like, yeah. why yeah. do I have to solve this interview? Casual girl tears. At 10 I almost PM. cried today, but I didn't, so I'm not counting that. But <laughs> because I was stressing out about philosophy class I'm taking. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I think that counts. An almost cry. I've ever taken. Philosophy is just rough in general. Yeah. It's just it's hard. But um. It really is. Yeah. Is, is Bulbasaur your favorite Pokemon? All right, let me get back to you. Yeah, um, I'm actually Bulbasaur's baby in chat, which I'm sure some people might have been able to figure out. Um, but yeah, he is. It is. I don't know. But I have like a lot of other Pokemon too. It's just that you know I'm not that picky. Yeah, I like most of them. Some of them are kind of bad, but most of them are good. Like the one, the vanilla ice cream one. <laughs> I actually like the vanilla ice cream one. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's not like up there, so I don't care. Yeah. You know, I, I think what all good relationships it, but... have a tiny bit of conflict in them. I don't know. You know? I, I, I respect the initiative to do something different. You know, no, I some like... of them are just like mankeys, literally just a monkey <laughs> with like a pig yeah. nose. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like everyone hated on like, what was it, like Pokemon Black and White when it first yeah. came out, and now like everyone loves Does she, it. What is, her, now, what is the know, thing like, in Miranda's background that looks like a Pokemon? Like. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. 
I guess, do you play any other games besides, like, Pokemon um, games? I play Animal Crossing, but I haven't touched it in a while. Any questions, I play chat? Super any questions, Smash chat? Ultimate. That's um, Sully? Oh, I see I it now. I finished Luigi's Mansion 3 a little while ago. Um, I play some of those really old thousands click games. Like, those click adventures oh, I like from my this. childhood. Like, do you know, like, the Pajama <laughs> Sam series and, like... I don't no. think so, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, guys. I, I do that. Yeah? Why do you think you're single? Um, Ooh, um... Probably I think I, don't I know. <laughs> you don't go anywhere? I mean, no, not since the pandemic hit and I moved down here. I have not really been social. Besides, like, going I mean, to the grocery store. But that's probably it. I think, yeah. hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I would say, like, pretty similar. Like, um, I've been, like, trying to be super safe during the pandemic, and so I've mostly been, like, staying inside and, you know, like, hanging out, doing school stuff. And uh, it's also been really busy doing school stuff, so I haven't... Like, it's not, like, my biggest priority, I think, right now, to, like, find someone to date. So that's why I'm single. Yeah, but, same. Yeah. But, you know, I, I saw this, and I was like... There's no way in hell I'm not signing up for this because it sounds exactly, awesome. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So like, I, I hope it's been yeah. awesome so far. I mean, I'm enjoying my time single because before this, I was in like a relationship for four and a half years. Is anyone, is anyone, anyone else, by really the way, months. hearing the progression like, in Sabrina's voice? You can hear them to getting to getting progressively less I nervous as they as they get into to the another. to the wave of the conversation. I'm happy where I'm at for the time being, but. I thought this would be yeah. fun. You see how confidently no, she delivered I'm, I'm herself just now? That's yeah. like a good place to be. All right. Um, uh, what's your biggest think... accomplishment? Ooh. <laughs> so um, this is Serena stoned. One time I got a law passed. Is that an accomplishment? <laughs> Maybe, you got what? I think so. Huh? You got what? It's like we're oh, not even here. Pass. Exactly, dude. What is that? Oh, um, like I what got, um, there is like a voting rights law that I helped work on when I was in high school. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. No, you're I not didn't stupid know you meant, like, an actual Miranda, you froze. Law. I thought you meant like, I don't know what I thought you meant, but that's cool. What kind of law was it? Um, it basically, it's like a law that makes it so that if you're, um, 18 by the general election, but you're still 17 during the Sabrina. primaries, oh, there we you go, still there vote. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's only for the state where I'm from, otherwise, yeah. yeah. So I wish it was everywhere, but that'd be cool. Hmm. I think it's like that in my state. Because I was able right. to vote in the 2016 election, and I wasn't 18 Any more questions, like chat? So, I have other questions, but now I'm looking yeah, think about like it kind of lame. Yeah, I the states, the U.S. states yeah. right now have that type of thing, but half of them don't. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. Um, it's hard to one-up that. I don't think I have anything. Um, you, you don't have to one-up it, though. You're so cool anyways. <laughs> much, but I don't know. I mean, I did mention that honorable mention drawing. I guess that's kind of cool. Do you um, believe in soulmates? Actually... Oh, before that, I I I forgot to mention I was in the newspaper one time when I was. She's like, so eight. confident. She fucking. For, but I was in the newspaper, so that was probably my biggest accomplishment. Damn, she went from being all nervous to that. fucking That's pretty cool. Alphaing me. Remember. I think it was. She just alpha away to my question. Because I took. A this is such. This is such a thing, dense but... character arc we are That's witnessing cool. right here. Yeah, yeah, she fucking cool. overruled me. <laughs> no, no, it is cool. It is cool. Oh my god. Don't put your nose down. But, um, what an arc! Thing. Um, I what feel like arc. if soulmates are a thing, then the universe would be incredibly cruel to make it so that you only have one. Like, I feel like if, like, soulmates are a thing, Damn. you probably have, like, a couple. And maybe they're, like, different. Like, some might be, mm -hmm. like, your friend soulmate, and some might be, like, your romantic soulmate. But... I think maybe sometimes people aren't your soulmate, and then they become your soulmate. I don't know. I think that, like... Isn't that not what isn't that, I think anything can happen. Isn't a soulmate include you only have to that's, start that that's way? That's a good way of looking at it. I don't know. I used to believe that there was only like that person you would be with for the rest of your life. And I don't, I don't know. I don't really think that way anymore. 
just like with time and stuff i don't know i just like if you think about it logically it's not very realistic you know yeah. it's like what eight billion people in the world and there's only one yeah. person that's like right for you i don't know um, i think like i think part of the reason why i don't think that way is because it would make me sad like what would mm. you what would be the odds of finding that one person that too like, yeah or like a fucking needle in a haystack yeah I don't know. I'm just not very into like that whole thing in general. I'm very. It truly is like we're not even um, here. Like agnostic and all of like spiritual things. Like it could be yeah. possible, but like I don't think it is. Uh, I am about the same way. I'm I'm agnostic. Yeah. I kind of hope that there's like a weird god when I die. Like I hope that god is just like a hamster on like a wheel. <laughs> the wheel is, that like, would be sad. great. <laughs> hey guys. That'd be cool. Before oh, yeah? before this, what was the last thing you were nervous about? Oh, I have an answer, but do you want to go first? Honestly, I don't really know right now, so maybe you can give me some time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you some proper time. Um, okay. So I had to like submit like a research proposal uh, pretty recently, and I was super nervous about that because... Wow. I really want to get funded because I want to go to graduate school, hopefully. And so I, re I really want that that sweet, sweet research experience <laughs> and also money. So I was very, I was very nervous. Yeah, she definitely, I am the gecko now me. Being done with the whole writing process. Um, well, now that you talk about, I'm actually kind of nervous about my finances myself right now, mm -hmm. considering I don't have a job right now because of COVID, but I was hoping I could go out job hunting this weekend. But See, it's important. I, I told you guys, it's important money. to talk about early in a relationship. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> time's chopping. I got to go out there and get some stuff going for me. Uh, but, I'm yeah. sorry. I That's know okay. that but times are tough, but, you know, I'll, I'll buy something. Um, yeah. especially since, like, spring's opening up, a lot of more things are going to be popping. So, Hell yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, things are going to be great. You got where, do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully being a wildlife conservationist, because that's my goal. Yeah, that's what I'm doing in college. That's super cool. Yeah. Wait, so would that be, like, like what, what does that kind of stuff entail? Like, you, like, well, first off, like, figuring out, like, a particular group, like, which I don't particularly have, like, a subject in mind, um, but you have to, like, figure out, like, it entails a lot of things, really, but I think urban ecology is one of the bigger things that are popping up now because there's so many people that live in cities. And I'm gonna nerd out for a second, but just be, it's just I'm like she's nerding out. She's a lot uh, of, like stuff uh, to do with uh, birds and alphaing um, me. Like rats. this truly is an like insane like amount of character like, development. I'm noticing more diversity and urban cities than you would think. And a lot of people are just kind of trying to expand. The beginning is always tough, but once so, you get to the middle, dude, you're sailing. And of like, like most things, too. like people are trying to um, combat exotic plants that people, you know, like, play on their front yard and stuff by doing more local things. And exotic just means it's not native to the region for anyone who's watching. But they're trying to do more native plants in their areas and increase the green spaces because it's also shown to make people happier. And people who live in cities tend to not be as rich, you know, so they don't have access to those nice green spaces, which isn't cool. I don't know what? That's not cool. So they're trying to like change that. But yeah, what about you? No, that wait, that's super cool. That's super. I don't know. I think that's super cool. I love. See, I had no idea what she just said, but I could tell that Miranda that. did, that's which makes this hell. a good date. I hope you get to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping to apply to like graduate school. I don't know if I'm gonna be in like a master's or a PhD. But um, I think I want to be like a, a chemical researcher, um, maybe for like, I, I don't really super know what yet. I, I actually, I kind of do like organic chemistry though, sadly. <laughs> 
So maybe I'll be doing like some some synthesis research in like five years or something. I don't know. That's but, really cool. Yeah. I guess. So how did you get into like ecology? Well, like ever since I was like a kid, I was obsessed right, I with this. animals. Like I was subscribed to National Geographic. Hey guys. Yes. Hey guys, Ooh. we're coming towards the end, but how okay. do you think how do you think this date went? Honestly, I think it's going well. Yeah, right. I think it's. I mean, well. she, just, she said it straight up, that. dude. But Damn. Like we're still talking, and like we have. To she didn't even and hesitate. I think it went good. Yeah, I think this was awesome. Yeah, I'd love to get to know you more if you'd be down. It's oh okay. Oh my god, no, no, dude, what? No, no, I'm What's down. going on here, I'm dude? Down. Oh my goodness. Yay! All right. Oh, this is yeah, this is awesome. All right, we. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so much for being on Gek Date. Thank you. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, of course. You guys have a great it rest of the night. Rad. Thank you. Right. You have bye. a good night, too. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting hey. you, too. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you for the bits, CPT. Damn, I want to be honest, all right? So when I matched the when I when I when I put these dates together, I uh, I did what, what was I gonna say? Um, I tried to pair extroverts with introverts because I want to pair two people who I thought were shy together or anything, and I thought that Miranda was gonna be the the extrovert to Sabrina's introvert, but Sabrina just hit hit it out of the park with that with that young character development. This is incredible. All right, I'm gonna open up the line. How do you think this date went? Four zero one four seven two gek. This will. This will. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm thirty percent human tonight because I can use my fucking computer. That went that went good. It went very differently than how I thought. All from Matt. Matt? Yo, what up man? How are you doing, Matt? Matt, can you turn your stream off for me? Yeah. Matt. Um, how, do you, how do you think this date yep. went? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm okay. not really sure because I was very distracted by the chat. And um, you should probably move on to the next guy right after me because I'm not really answering the question. I just want to give a shout out to this chat. That was, y'all are incredible. What did you, okay, well, what did you notice about the chat's reaction to the date? Because that can inform you about the date. Uh... Well, you, <laughs> um, I think they like them. I think everybody liked them. I mean, when it's I was watching astute. them, I liked them. And they just like, it was natural. We, so yeah, too. yo, dude, you were definitely right. Like, we definitely were on the sideline. It's really cool. I saw on your first date that, like, we truly are like watching like ordinarily people date like when we like see shows like this like it 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 feels really fake and this just feels real and like the first date you know i feel like they definitely were aware like this is a public thing but on this one like they it's were true it's true it's it felt like it really felt like the cameras just melted away and they were on a private discord call you know yeah and it was awesome Hell yeah. It was really, really awesome. Um, and just like normal. Yeah. It it's like really cool to see that like other people just do the same exact thing as you. Um yeah. this is my first time seeing you, so oh, hell yeah. uh like I'd never experienced this before. It's well, very, very cool. Well, Matt, I listen, I hope to hear hear from you again sometime soon. I hope you uh, stick around the Gek Nation. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks, man. You uh, you made me a believer. Cheers. Thank you, man. You have a good night. Love you, guys. <laughs> you Love you guys. I have a third date for us. We're halfway done, and I think it's been pretty good so far. Can we go three for three? Do we believe? Do we believe? 
Do we have believers in the chat this evening? Do we have do we have do we have lovers of love in the chat this evening? All right. Let's meet Jess in Israel. Hey everyone, my name is Jess and a little bit about me. I'm 21, I'm from New Jersey originally, I live in California now and I'm studying to be a licensed therapist, I'm in college. Interests include music, art, I like to go camping, I like being outside. And what I'm looking for, I've, I've been single for three years and it's just like I've been out on the town trying my best and like meeting so many people and it just like hasn't worked out. Um, but all I want is someone that's just like really, really nice that I can connect with and like we can be supportive of each other, be BFFs, but also be dating and <laughs> just someone that's really cool to talk to. And I don't think it's that, it should be that hard, but it is for some reason. So here we are and I'm open to the possibilities. So thanks for having me. Hi, my my name is Israel Orta, and uh, a few things about myself is that I'm your typical gamer boy. You know, I have a PC, I have a Xbox One S, and so, you know, if you have a PlayStation, we could always, you know, cross-play or whatever it is the case. And um, I've also, I'm also enlisted into the U.S. Army National Guard. Um, I don't know, just thought I would, you know, put that out. The reason why I'm trying to, you know, go to the gecko day is just to have fun this Friday as, you know, there's nothing really much for me to do. So, you know, it's a good way to see if I can actually get picked, which I'm not really sure if I'm going to get picked. But, you know, it's also it's a fun video to make right here. And um, the type of girl I'm, I'm hoping to meet is, you know, a, you know, another, I don't know, just, I really don't know, just another girl see you know what's up have some few laughs enjoy the movie or whatever it is it that we're gonna be doing but then again i'm kind of hoping to get that big titty goth girl you know i'm sure that's something that all the boys here will will agree <laughs> but uh but yeah that's basically it and um hope a good pick and uh yeah see you guys later Jess and Israel, how you guys doing? Both nervous. Don't yeah. be nervous. Don't be nervous. It's it's just the internet's not real. Right, right. That's well, true. yeah, I like I picked you both because you both seem like very sweet people, and I think you guys will get along. And uh, you know, I'm gonna put myself on mute, let you guys introduce each other, and uh, occasionally chime in with some some questions. Nope. All good. I go first. We need like a like a list, like a bullet list. Right. I mean, then again, we can just say whatever. That's true. Yeah. We pre-bonded a little bit. Right. We talked about. Um. Oh, do we start now? By the way. Or... <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. So. Uh, my name is Israel, as right. you already know. Look. Uh, I'm 19 years old, and, uh, well, um, All right, look, you know, I, see you in the chat. <laughs> I see, I see oh. you non-believers in the chat. I see you non-believers in the chat, by the way. And let oh, me tell you okay. something. I love an arc, all right? No, this is good. I love a fucking, yeah, uh, uh, I love an well, underdog I mean, story, okay? School, I believe so this date is an underdog story, but. Yeah. <laughs> I like I'm this term. you know, it's graduate. Kind of <laughs> but my day yeah. was in high school. <laughs> no, but know, it's kind of age difference. It's just like a little bit funny. All right. In right. college, like college. Um. Oh, and uh, I guess another thing I should probably mention is oh, that no, uh, is. I enlisted into the U.S. Army National Guard. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But, made know, you do that, the... or like, what are you gonna be doing? Hmm? Are you gonna be doing? Wait, did he say he was in high school? Oh, uh, uh, as a kid, I don't know. I just, you know, that was just something that I always wanted to do, or so. Like, it just looked cool to me. 
And well, the job that I picked was um, 12 Bravo combat engineer. So I'm going to be working with a lot of explosives. So, <laughs> yeah. But right. I mean, it's not just, you know, Did she talk about herself it's yet? It's also building bridges yeah. as far as I've seen. Someone in your family do that first? Uh, no, I'll be the first one. Did you find that, like, did they come to your school and like, is that how you found out about it or did you? All right, I'm gonna cut uh, I did my own research. Yeah, like I went nice. up to them. <laughs> hey guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Could you tell each other your biggest fear? Yeah. Oh, you, you could go first. I already went first. Okay. All right. Are you self-aware? Um... It's actually a really tough one. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I don't want to die painfully, I'd say. <laughs> what the fuck? I would like to just, you know, like ease on into it um, <laughs> in my sleep or something like that. <laughs> um, so I guess I would say the biggest thing I'd want to not happen would be like, a major accident, like an explosive, which is why like, I don't want to meet you at the National Guard. Cause I don't want you to like blow something up and then I die painfully. <laughs> right. Or there's a little barrier, you know. Uh, well, for me is um, the unknown. That's what. Uh, okay. that's, that's the that's the thing that fears. Uh, you know, Respect. that I fear the most is the unknown of what's uh, the uncertainty. Uncertainty, you know. But it's also kind of exciting. What, hmm? what context, like? In your life in like something physical like tangibly like the darker the ocean <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you know, more just... like, category of the unknown yeah like it's just all blind <laughs> you can't going see. blind you know something like that <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just not so good i don't apologize You're doing great I'm not cutting in. Bob Ross poster. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, thank you. Look, uh, you, you know, look, of course, Bob Ross. Give a man know, a fish, happy right? Trees. You gotta love him. <laughs> Taught me about the fan brush technique. All right. How you do the little happy little trees? <laughs> oh, but uh, what about you? Um... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, it lagged. Oh, uh, oh, what about you? Or like, I don't know. I want to learn, you know, some more about you. Or... Okay. <laughs> um, I'm in college. I'm getting a master's in um, a year from now to be a therapist, ironically enough. Um, I really want to help people like one on one and walk them through the things they're going through and hopefully make them feel better inside. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah like have a better internal life like um and people with anxiety and things like that mm. a little bit broad a little bit broad of a goal but i know that i want to be a therapist oh therapist wow <laughs> now that's now that's a good job right there yeah i agree so is the national guard i feel like you get um they have mutual respect for each other's oh, careers yeah, we, that's important yeah, in a relationship um you know I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting to go. Like this summer, right. I'm just gonna go to boot camp for like. Oh no way! Yeah. How your family hey guys, feel about it? could oh, you each, yeah. could you each give each other a compliment that's unrelated to physical appearance? Uh. Yeah. Well, one is. Um, I <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, do you want to go first? No. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Well, I mean, one is probably will be your mind, since you want to be a therapist. I think that's what sweet. I, just, I always see like the therapist, like kind of like a big brain, you know, like they just like know everything. Like, Look, I know Chad's to, hating, know, but to yeah, understand I think, the, I think person, these, these, you know, this man's trying think, his best. So I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, thank you. I think that you're really humble and really nice. You were helping like in the chat people were nervous and you were like giving them encouragement that's really cool yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome <laughs> or <laughs> thank you or oh, i'm not sure no worries but, uh... oh okay any idea for a conversation topic 
You go no back to like. Dating I want to see what I want to see what they come up with on their own. Favorite pasta. Pasta is good. Pasta is good. But you know what could be better than pasta? Lasagna. What? We got Garfield That's in there. Very true. <laughs> I like to make lasagna. I make lasagnas pretty often. Right. I agree. Just good. Yeah, you lasagna. You make lasagna yourself. You know what? No, I'm not cutting <laughs> in, dude. Yeah. I'm not cutting in for uh, a minute. I have a question. Um, what's like um, something that you're interested? In? Like, for example, like, are you interested in history or I don't know, like I don't know, space or something like that? I would say, yeah, I like psychology and I like philosophy. Um, I need to read more. I really want to get into like reading books on those topics. I think I've just been interested. Like I tend to make friends that are into similar things, and then we have those conversations. Any questions, like chat? Any questions? Research, I guess. Hmm. Read more about it. Yeah. About I mean, you? Uh, well, for me, it's history. You know, I just love history. A lot. Oh wait, I got one. I got one. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, I'm, like I'm kind of a history nerd. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Uh, what yeah. was the What was the best year of your life? I'd say this year. I know that's a really bad thing to say because this year was like obviously horrible, like current events wise, and people went through a lot, and like so did I. But in terms of like, you know, I got I, all the alone time was really bad. Oh, I like for I like that. Oh, like someone I in the chat said when was the last time you got in trouble. I like that. It was one. like a good year in that sense. Like I became more introverted and like I need to be yeah. right. right. I'm more confident that way. Yeah. Um, for me was would be probably 2017. Uh, the reason why is because on um, that year, uh, me and my cousins we popped like a whole bunch of you know fireworks or so. Yeah, we had like a whole like we had like at least five <laughs> barrels and we left the whole neighborhood just you know smoky. Is this what inspired <laughs> the National Guard wanting to be in like the explosives unit? Yeah, basically, <laughs> from right there, I already knew. <laughs> God. Um, was this, were they illegal, at, or were they, like, legally sourced? Oh, uh, like yeah, they were legally. Um, oh, that's another thing, is that um, I live in Texas, you know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's far away from where you're at, or... Diego. Like, California. Oh, California. Wow, that's now that's a long distance. I want to hear more about this firework situation. This was this made that entire 2017 was made because you set off a lot of fireworks. <laughs> that, that. I want to hear more about these fireworks that were so impactful. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> I want to hear about fireworks. I mean, one is that, you know, I don't know. It, it just came to me. One is that, you know, with the powder and the, uh, um, we're just mixing up a sort of, like, of course, it didn't just mix them all up together, you know? <laughs> like, mix them all together. <laughs> uh, but it's go? just that me and my cousins, we, uh, we just like, you know, we kind of like did like crazy experiments with the, uh, you know, with the fireworks or so. Kind of like it was you know safety hazard but you know nobody right. got hurt so it's all right <laughs> and okay. we took you know precautions for it in california like catch on fire this year all because of like a gender reveal with fireworks oh <laughs> Just, yeah like, that was whoa. crazy hey Are guys you? uh were you affected by it in in what kinds of situations do you feel out of place first on this one uh they gotta think about it for a minute i guess if i'm just like um standing like um around like a crowd of people because 
for some reason my i just start thinking like okay uh should i stand like this or like this should i put my arms in my po i mean my hands in my pocket or something like that i don't know it just gets a little bit you know yeah i know a lot of people like that i have friends like that for sure i i would say i don't necessarily have a place that makes me feel super uncomfortable only because I think over time, like, I don't know. I, Cause I used to feel the way that you do like a lot of times, like especially in high school. And then I think over time, I kind of just got to the point of realiz realizing that most people do feel that way. And uh, kind of, I just worked on it a lot. And I worked on like reminding myself that a lot of other people feel the same way I do. And no one's really paying attention to you at the end of the day. All right. Also, like, I'm pretty nihilistic, so I feel like that takes a lot of anxiety away. Hmm. <laughs> um, There's so much to work with there, hmm. Israel. She just unloaded on You're you, right. Israel. We definitely need. We definitely needed a little. Israel, of, you know, Israel, of ask for Israel. She unloaded on you, Israel. Trying to come up with something in my head right now. But... Go back to lasagna. I was gonna ask Israel's you. Israel, I'm not not trying to give shit to Israel. It's just a oh, sweet man. But... Um. I do some killer omelets, that's for sure. The omelets, what do you put in those? Guys, the key to forming uh, bonds well, is vulnerability. One, I put some cheese on them, you know, to make them nice. Salt and pepper. And, and also put like, um, I always forget by the, the way, name I, of the I, I'm meat. not upset with Israel. I commend Israel. Israel's trying, um, Israel's, Israel's putting one, it in I kinda, tonight. I'm like in a, I'm He's Hispanic, trying his best. Just letting you know. But right if now. Israel, and, uh, Israel's got to be a little bit more vulnerable. Like weird, She's but being I forget vulnerable like a lot of you know, Spanish words or so. And so, uh, yeah, I forgot the name of the meat, but it's but you know it's just good. Not to mention the tuna. Mm. I've never heard of that. That might be you never tried. Hey like guys? What kind of tuna? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, when was the last time you got in trouble? Do you want to go first, or I mean, it definitely, I don't trouble with the law. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god, I hope not. You hope not. Oh, what's this story with the law? <laughs> oh, uh, uh <laughs> law. Right, let's see. No, appears that we hit on about the law, right? Know, we hit on something. We hit on something. Hags open. <laughs> um, let's just make sure there's no FBI on the chat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what the so, fuck does that mean? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if I could get in trouble for this, but it has to do with an explosive. Oh, really? Figure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna go with something that I did in high school. You know, just just on the safe side. Uh, you know, in science class, there's like this uh, um. There's like this lever or so that you pull. It's kind of like a little shower. Yeah, I pull that down like really hard. <laughs> so the, the whole like the uh, the thing is though that the shower thing was like old and rusty. That when I pulled it down, it just fell off and like just the water just started spreading everywhere. <laughs> you had to pay for it. Yeah. What was the repression? Were you expelled? Uh, I got detention. And detention. Like for Only detention. During this thing, off the wall and flooding, and <laughs> they just gave you <laughs> yeah. detention. I basically flooded the whole class. Is that what you were scared of the FBI finding out about, or is this a different thing? Uh, no, about? not that one. But not this one. I mean, this one's all right, you know. Chat. Any questions? But, any last yeah, questions? What about chat? you? <laughs> I, don't think I, I got room for one more question, chat. Mm -hmm. Can't say that I'm a lawbreaker. Hmm. Not even you are. a pencil yeah. or an eraser before. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> a lot of like I've had friends that like shop, but I could never. I like I'd be way too anxious to do that. Oh, well, I mean, you know, just, if it has a like cool little design on it, I mean, I think it would be. I think I would just it. buy that if it had a cool design. On it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Maybe it's just like the thrill. Hmm. So, um, hmm. 
Um, you got hey any... guys? Yeah? How did your last relationship end? Uh, I just moved across the country. We weren't gonna do long distance. That was like three years ago. Hmm. Not yet. As, as for me, I've actually never been in a relationship before. No, respect. Respect. Okay. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Respect. This respect. Is new territory. Um, respect. Don't you dare be mean to him in the chat. Crazy, Don't you dare be mean to him in the chat. Don't you dare be mean to him in the chat. Don't you dare be mean to him in the chat. This man is 19. No, Don't you dare this is actually will chat. be like my first. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is like uh, good like practice. Then. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Respect. Uh, respect. Yeah, I respect just, like, to I don't this know. Man. I just never had the time. Oh, I'm sorry. What first was time. That? Bring some icebreakers in your back pocket to your first date. Mm. You're gonna take her to the restaurant when you take your first date. I will probably go to a park and get some ice cream. I don't know. I want to be cheap a... about. It. <laughs> she's like, I do like the part she's coaching him on the next date. Right, right. Take no her to like a good ice cream, please. You go quality. Actually, there then is a good ice cream place near my place. Yeah. Perfect. It's like the, the whole entire building is literally just like an ice right. cream cone with vanilla on top. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't think I have. We have those over here. Hey guys, I like a chain. Uh, we're we're yeah. about running out of time, but uh, how how do you think this date went? Uh, I think it was um, I think it was all right, but a little bit, you know, like kind of like uh, awkward. I mean, more more mostly for me because you know, it's something new. Or it's a humble guy. I'm still That's trying what to she, get she into it. She said he was humble. Well, I. Respect I... This man. I think he's a little young for me, and he's in high school, so that was. I did not know he was in high school. Bat. For the fact I thought that if you're this 19, is his first you know, date, literally school, but... ever, give him major props. He showed up and he tried. And he's a nice yeah. guy, and I think he's gonna he's gonna do well now. He has like, that sweet. experience now. This was sweet. This was sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I had well, fun. You're a nice like guy. I think you're, I think it's gonna go well for you. This was sweet. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being on Gek Date. You guys have a great rest of the night. Too. Yeah. All right. You know what? That was sweet. All right. That was sweet for both of them. I did not know he was still in high school. I thought, but that was sweet. And props to my man for coming out, for showing up, doing his first date on Gek Date. Uh. Call from Bumper Run. Bumper Run? Bumper Run, are you there? Bumper Run. Yeah, hey, Gek, how's it going, man? How you doing, Bumper Run? BR? I'm doing all right. Let me uh, turn down the stream real quick. Sorry, yeah, there we no go. No worries, no worries. Um, so, we're talking about that last date, huh? Yeah, what'd you think? Um, well, I mean, all right, well, before I continue, I want to, before I say anything that some people might be a little upset about, I would say that when that man turns 21, I would buy him a beer. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's very nice so, of you. Yeah. So that being said, um, obviously it could have gone a little bit better, you think? Um, he seemed he seemed like he got a little bit more nervous as the date went on and uh she kind of put in a couple one-liners and i think that her name was jess correct her name was jess yeah yeah jess seemed a little checked out the moment that uh there was a moment where he she he uh he was talking about being humble and then um and uh she said that he was being humble and then he said uh you're welcome and i think that was the moment at which she was checked out she did. I got. I have to. I have to give props to him. Mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not over here trying to trying to trash him because you know, I he he realized immediately after he said that that he 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 said that because he just didn't he didn't have a response to it. And maybe he he right, right. had this uh, fight or flight reaction to being complimented. You know. Right. I don't think uh, he um, meant anything by it. 
again, if anything, uh, like she said, uh, I think there's just a, a little bit of a difference in maturity. I mean, uh, again, you didn't know it, but he's still in high school, right? Uh, she's entering the her 20s in uh, young adulthood, so That's she's true. already had probably life experiences that he hasn't. So yeah. uh, if anything, at least this was kind of like a good first experience for him. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, definitely still a good date. Uh, probably not, you know, uh, it could have gone a little bit better, but by no means was it a train wreck. I, you know what? I agree with you. I don't think it was a, a, a total, a total train wreck. Cause to me, I would consider a train wreck, you know, tell me what you agree. I think that this guy, the guy, you know, he's a young guy. I don't think, you know, he's, he's fully developed. And he also, you know, he, like he said, right. he's never been on a date. He hasn't had the chance to fully develop into himself and learn how to present that to people right and to me a train wreck is when two people who have both fully learned how to present themselves and develop themselves present themselves and it goes horribly but i think that it was it was a little too uh prenatal maybe for it to be yeah horrible maybe underdeveloped is the word well, that's that's kind of a big oof there gek <laughs> oh what uh, I, I don't know, a little underdeveloped, though? Well, no, I'm not talking about physically. I'm talking about, in, like, the, the ability to date people, the dating skill. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, maybe you, you know, led him on the right path there, then. Maybe you helped this gentleman out, and his so next date did. is going to go very swimmingly. Maybe I did. And by the way, he was, as people in the chat are saying, I should make sure, he was not, he was not 16. He was, he was 19. Oh, he was 19, anyway. yeah. Well, thank you so much for calling in, PR. I appreciate you. I love your voice. And um, <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure getting your opinion on this date. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Bye. You have a good night. Well, chat, we have one final date for the evening. Um, and you know what? I feel like... Uh, chat, real quick. Chat, real quick. We This evening, we've been up. We've been down. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. We've laughed, we've cried. We felt all sorts of things that we don't exactly even have words for. And I want to know, are you guys believers? Who here is a believer in love, goddammit? Who here is a believer in love? We got one last gag date. I'm tired of hearing the sound of my own voice. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Hi, Geek Nation. My name is Lauren. I'm uh, 21 years old. I'm a Scorpio and I go to University of Vermont where I'm a social work major. And in my free time, not so free time, I am a preschool teacher. Uh, I've been watching the stream for probably six months now, pretty religiously. And I got on once and although I didn't give my best performance, I really enjoyed talking to the Geek. I told him about social work. Um, it was a good time. My favorite call-in is probably um, this one guy who called in after he lost all of his friends and Gek asked him if he was Machiavelli in nature, and I think that's absolutely hilarious. Uh, if we're gonna go off of my perfect man, uh, definitely someone who's funny. I like that kind of Gek humor. Um, I don't want anyone who likes sports. I don't understand sports and I don't care about sports. Rather, I would like to have someone who likes music, maybe has like a niche hobby, something you need. So I trust in the spirit of the Gek, and I look forward to meeting my perfect match. Man, what? Wait, hold on, where'd that go? Where that... Here it is. Oh, hey, I found you. Just like I need your help finding the one for me. Um, I guess I'll talk about myself. Music is, like, very important. I love music. I just want someone who can send me a playlist. Now, when it comes to, like, let's cut this out of the way. If it comes to looks, she just got to be better looking than me. I'm like a, I'm like a solid, like, I don't know, four. So she just got to be a five and above. Got curly hair. I don't know if they're looking for that. She just, she got to be my best friend. You know, I believe your love is your best friend. So she got to be my best friend. Um, you know, she just, I just want someone fun, funny, great sense of humor. But, uh, yeah, I want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I was also confused about the last question, so I just clicked your welcome. Hopefully I got that correct. But enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guy? How you, how you doing, doing Harry? How you doing, Lauren? So bear with me. I see you guys have been... Oh, shit. You guys can't oh, fucking hear me. Complicated. How are you? 
Hey, you guys, you guys hear me? I hear you, Lyle. I see you guys already got the chit chatting. It's going, yeah. it's going well already. How you doing, Harry and Lauren? It's complicated. Mm. It's complicated. I can't complain. I'm doing good. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put myself on mute. I'm gonna let you guys talk to each other. All right. So, off rip. Tell me a joke. Okay. I really had to. Damn think it! That was one of my one questions. Because, Tell okay, you guys, a joke. We were in like a separate little group and Harry and I, Harry was saying that he wanted to ask everyone a joke. And I was like, do not ask me a joke. I will croak. Damn it. They talk, and then damn he was like, it. Well, I have to. I'm so pissed um, off that they talk to each other in Discord. Joke, it was supposed like, to be growing blind. Up, I'm 21. Um, it was from my Carly and Spencer said, what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? Do you know this? Or should uh, I finish it? You gotta finish it. I've seen it, but I don't remember this joke. Anybody can roast beef, but nobody can pea soup. And I always thought that was the funniest shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm a, I'm a huge like iCarly fan, but like I'm I'm 24, so I grew up watching like Drake and Josh. Okay, so like, similar, similar. Yeah, yeah. But this, this is my joke. Okay. Best joke of all time. You ready? It's a knock knock joke. F Y R. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, okay. I know go go go. Right, hold on. Knock knock. Who's there? I eat mop. I eat mop. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Got me looking like a toddler. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. I love it. It's like my all-time favorite. Sorry to be a preschool teacher. This is going like very like well that. already. Yeah, I'm a preschool teacher. Um, that's like a simplified way to say dude. it. I mean, in reality, I work at like an early childhood center, so I work with babies anywhere from like four months to five and a half years old. Okay. Okay. Um. I absolutely love it. I said I'm a social work major and I want to work with families. So this is like an organization that I really, really love. Um, I'm home for the week for spring break in Pennsylvania. I live in, my family lives in Pennsylvania. I'm in my living room oh, right wait. now. I, that's where I'm from, Pennsylvania. Where? Oh, I guess you shouldn't say where. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. I'll get you some. But, They'll talk later. <laughs> but yeah, They'll I'm in Pennsylvania. Later. And um, I miss my baby so much. But... Yeah, that's what I hope oh to do, God, like, dude. in the future. Family services, that kind of shit. But that's, like, the professional boring side of me. But that is literally what I do with my free time. Any free time I have, I'm in the school. Um, that's awesome. Love what about you? What do you like to do? Well, for work, personally, I am a, I'm a CMT. So I work with people who have behavioral issues and all that. So sometimes... Can you, know, can you guys hear him at all? Try to swing on me, uh, there's so not I'm much like, I can do. Try and block and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm always on my toes, gotta, but in my personal free time, honestly, just like music, music's my everything, mm -hmm. can't say my everything, uh, I just love music, you know, and when we get to that level, I'm gonna ask you to send me a playlist, so you gotta, oh, be, you, gotta be prepared. you gotta be you gotta be Well, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I used to be an Apple Music girl, um, and I'm embarrassed mm -hmm. about my origin story because I'm now yeah. a Spotify girl. Dude, and... I used to be Apple. Now I'm Spotify as well. <laughs> okay. So we're on the same page. <laughs> exactly. Apple Music is embarrassing. And I would die for Apple Music like a year ago. But now I'm a Spotify girl. Um, all my roommates are watching. All my roommates are watching right now. My best friend from home. My best friend from school. Uh -huh. So hello, everyone. Hello, Jacob. Um, hey, hello, Jacob. Hey, Jacob. So um, I follow like all their Spotify playlists. They're definitely my Spotify gurus. Um, okay. But what's your favorite? Okay, here's a real question. I have two questions. Have you ever been to a music festival? And follow up, Don't maybe like, what's questions. your favorite show you've seen live? Okay. Don't even need my questions. I'm gonna get so much. I've never been to a music festival in my life. Me neither. Never been to a concert either. Uh, <gasps> all right, hold on. None of that. Yeah, none. So I haven't really seen any show live. Hey, uh, Harry. Hey, what's up? Can you put your mic closer to your face? Oh yeah, of course. Is this is this good or? Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, man. Yeah, of course. Sorry about that. But, yeah, I mean, I haven't... If I was to go to a concert, I don't even know who I would is go to. Is that better? To. I would rather go to a festival, because, like, mm -hmm. my variety is, like, all over the place. If that makes sense. Like, no, mine, oh. is, oh. mine is too. I feel Hell like yeah, I wait. listen to, like, I was on my porch today reading, reading. That's what I like to do in my spare time. Okay. Fuck, I'm I love Discord. Reading. I didn't know you could do that shit. Um, so. so I was reading and listening to, like, um, I really like jazz. My friends make fun of me for liking jazz. <laughs> I love all like the world. Jazz? You what? Do you like jazz for real? Cause, uh, I genuinely like jazz. My family love, well, my noni, that's my grandmother. She's, yeah? She likes like classical and jazz music. So like, 
that's where I like she, I always talk to her about like Louis Armstrong exactly people, so. so Louis Armstrong is like Ella Fitzgerald I mean not her sidekick but, but they do a so lot of work right together now. so I'm a hu- huge Ella girl um, uh-huh. awesome. I love I've been to Made in America in <laughs> Philadelphia as a fellow Pennsylvania guy you should know yeah, um, that was probably the worst experience of my life I got peed on um, before whoa, whoa. Our whoa, whoa. Peed on? Huh? it was I mean it's exactly as you would imagine it um, I was what 16 so I was like a little baby and I was waiting for Rihanna to come on and a man pissed on me for, um, for what reason for the he, was probably, reason. he was probably on some crazy substances um, and it was horrible but that's Can't the really only know. festival I've been to I would say I would say my favorite music is like, do you know the front bottoms? Unfortunately I do not, so you Okay, get into the front bottoms. Um, I really enjoy them. They're like I feel like the word alternative is too broad of a like word to use for genre, but they're like more alternative, more like I really enjoy them. So Is it like alternative rock, alternative pop, like it's like alternative rock, I would say. Um, okay, okay. That's dope. It's, it's hard to describe it. It's not like anything extraordinary. It's just like, I really like, okay, here's a question for you. Do you like lyrics or do you like music? Like, do you like the beats or do you listen more for the lyrics? I listen personally. I'm more of like the lyrics. The beat, you know, like, I feel like the beat, that gives you the vibe, but the lyrics, that's what you feel. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. All right. All right. Enough oh, music. I love that. Hey I guys. Feel like... Yeah, Lyle. What's up? Uh, can you each tell each other what motivates you in life? Oh God. Oh, Lauren, you can go first. This is all you. I got to think. Ugh, <sighs> Harry, you're doing it to me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. what motivates me is probably. <laughs> I would definitely say like my own expectations for myself. Um, Dude, I deep have deep. like goals in mind for how I want my life to go and like people I want to work with um, and things I want to achieve, whether that's like feelings I want to feel or like physical manifestations of success. So I would say what motivates me is like my future self and my past self too. Like I want to make myself proud. Okay. That's awesome. I love that answer. And the, let me explain. The only reason why like, I kind of like smiled is because it just gave me a nostalgic vibe for my past life. Cause I said like something similar to that, but it was kind of like in a joking way. I used to do like, a, I did, there was a moment in my life where I used to do like, or try to excel in like stand up comedy. Mm-hmm. So like, oh I my God. Joke. But for me personally, for like, you know, uh, I guess like, just like happiness. Like what would what would I do to make me happy? That was the way he just the way he valid like what what a great interaction that was. All right, she went a little vulnerable. She went a little vulnerable. He and and he he immediately went in and he validated it and added upon it. Yeah, that's incredible. I'm a firm believer because I took like philosophy in like school and all that. So I'm a firm believer like that's the meaning of life is to be happy. So. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. If I don't know if anyone else can relate to that or not, but I don't know. I'm also I like a big relate. thinker as well. I mean, it's all about like what you can control and what you can't control. Um, okay, a big question. Who's your favorite comedian? Because I'm big Ooh. into like, I don't know, the YouTube side of like stand-up comedians. What is oh, the YouTube, the YouTube side, side of stand-up comedians? Man, I don't really... Like YouTube comedians? That's a great question. Comedian, well, I mean, I kind of like like uh. He's validating everything that she comedians. says, but not in like uh, like, not in like, like a Eddie suck Murphy. up way, you know, making her mm-hmm. feel yeah, listened like, to. Like his uh, he did you know? uh, raw. I loved raw. That was really good. But like modern day comedians, I kind of like Nick Swartzen, the guy who was like in uh, Grown Ups. Oh, she doesn't like, him, like the crazy bus driver. Oh uh, no, she just he had a really funny was. stand up special that I liked, and also like clearly everyone, you know, Gabriel Iglesias. Yes. Like, number one stand-up comedian and he's good what about you i um my friends make fun of me from like age 12 i have like only watched youtube i like don't watch tv um so i would say my favorite comedians are like in the podcast um 
okay. like realm of YouTube. So I love Theo Vaughn. Um, I love I Bobby him. Lee. Um, Joe Rogan's like Joe a classic. Rogan. Like I'll watch okay. him while I'm making breakfast, you know? Yeah, Joe, yeah I like Joe Rogan. He's cool. I mean, He's I feel like, and especially if you're on Spotify, like, yeah, everyone likes Joe Rogan. Um, but I would definitely say Theo Vaughn. And it's funny. And I wonder yeah, if you feel the same so way. That's, that's the guy who talks like... Uh, he kind of, I don't know if it's a molded, but he just got a weird Chad, haircut. Chad, I get some questions. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I, I was like, telling him, like, Chad, I get some questions, dude. Like, Seriously, dude? Like, that guy who always says, dude. Thank you, Ruben. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, just I'm, I'm, find, like, and I wonder if you feel the same way. Like, I find myself adopting, like, similar, like, the ways I carry myself and, like, the certain things that I say, like, maybe follow along with, like, what he would say. Yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. Can, can you do an impression for me? Like, of any person or any celebrity? Just do an impression. Of Theo, of any oh, no, no. All right, right, right after this. All right, right after this, I have a question for them. You can just be like a, like a, a gangster, like a mobster or something like that. Anything. All right, after this, okay, I'm Okay, Theo Vaughn. It doesn't have to be Theo Vaughn. Exactly. It could just be anything, anyone. Someone from New York or... Whatever you know what's really think. funny is anytime I ever do an impression, I always end up sounding like British or Australian. Okay, we will hear British accent. Um, and I really like Brittany Broski, who's from Just YouTube do the accent. If I, or like TikTok. If anyone's ever seen that, and she's always she like she talks in a British once. accent, love. But I can't like that's the best I could ever do it. That was pretty spot on. That was like pretty accurate to guess me. You would you would think I would. Hey guys, what's up, Lyle? Uh, what drugs have you done? It's a good one. Alcohol. Really? That's it? Maybe. I know. Wait. Shit, I'm a preschool teacher. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe. Um, I can't confirm or deny that I have explored the realm of... What would you say, Harry? Like... Whoa, whoa. Uh, substances. Substances? Yes. Um, however, um... I will never do coke or like any hard shit because yeah. I know I would get addicted. Okay, yeah, the question wasn't what drugs that don't you do. Mm -mm. All right, I'm but I did one. take two shots before this um, with my friends. Oh, so I'm I was I was gonna have a glass of wine. Oh, what kind of wine do you like? I'm to be honest, I have no clue. <laughs> I was just gonna pick the most fancy name one that sounds like French or something. <laughs> That's honestly what I do. Um, I, will, <laughs> I will say though, my dad makes, oh my he makes beer and what wine have I done? and awesome. it's really fantastic. Um, it's like 20% rosé. He makes me rosé. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I definitely, I'm definitely gonna have to try some of that. When, next time you have a family get together, invite me and I'll, I'll come absolutely, over. Absolutely. Oh barbecue, oh whatever. God. I like cookouts. Oh Those are God. for sure. Dude, oh we God. do barbecue. Hell yeah. Oh my God. I'm glad we're on the same page. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, Lyle. What's an obscure thing that you currently or at one point were into? <gasps> I have a good one. Okay, I, uh, tattooing myself. Harry, me too. You're lying. Okay. Dude, I have my tattoo gun right next to me. Shut up. I've only done stick and poke. Oh, but... I've done like so like, bzz, like. How many legit. tattoos do you have? Uh, I have six, and half okay, of them I have five. Are, are done by me, and they're the most stupidest tattoos ever. <laughs> like I drew a balloon, <laughs> um, a terrible sunset, and a UFO like sucking up a human. That's not that bad. That's like kind of complex. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the meaning behind them. I was just like, they're simple and easy, but they just they look like a three year old. Could please get a pog in like the chat. That you, please get some you know, gag pogs in the chat. Gag pogs in the chat, please. That's how bad they are. Absolutely, dude. I have I have five tattoos if you count a shitty so, stick. Someone in the chat tell me to stop them. I can't oh, stop man. them. No one can I stop have, this. What's the what's the tattoo? Of? This is this is the passion. Stick and poke this I have is love. Is like this doodle of a um, like a flower that I always do. Is, like when I'm bored in class because I'm still in college. Gag date. So I did that on my ankle. That this is a very pog looks day. very interesting. But then I have one on my back of um, my mom used to sing this little this song to me when I was little about a little oh white God. duck. So I have that on my back, and she has that oh, on her geez. wrist. And I have one on my arm here that's in my mom's handwriting, and it says it's only about family from one of my favorite bands, Goodbye Letters. They like 
wrote It's Only About Family, like in the closing line. And then I have, so that's one, two. And then I have one, right? This is my first one. I think I got this when I was 16. It's like from a Walt Whitman Chad, let me get one more, very, let me get one like, more question from Chad to ask them before we wrap it up. Um, okay. Contemplating her existence kind of tattoo. Um, let me get one yeah, more question yeah. from Oh, and I have one on my finger too. Oh, dude, I accidentally, one of these fingers I have a black dot on because I accidentally tattooed my finger. I did a black dot on my finger. Mine's on my middle finger, though. Dude, dude, dude these oh, guys really? cannot be more <laughs> compatible. But, like, I don't know if you can see this is very well, but uh, these are, like, some of my doodles, like, I do, like, for, like, the wow. tattoos and stuff. I'm terrible at it. Don't say wow. No, but, uh, you're not terrible. And this, this one's, like, my new favorite one. It's this little tiny, like, ghost right here. And, like, I want to have a speech bubble of his head. And it says, like, okay, question mark. Okay, when's like, your birthday? Uh, January 1st. Okay, so you're Jinx. So what are I, you? She made that. I thought she was about to uh, say my birthday is January first. Okay, so I'm a Scorpio. I, I was just I wondering if you were. I don't know. I don't know anything about the signs. Are they honest, compatible like, signs? I, just, I also Levi. don't know anything about the signs. We vibe. I honestly feel the same way. So, do you like to draw? Do you like to doodle? <sighs> Only if I'm like in a meeting. Really? <laughs> that's it. And I feel like that's like a lot of people. Yeah, that's the all these like these are like if I showed you this. The back of this, it has a bunch of numbers and all that stuff, from like because of my meetings I go to, mm -hmm. and then it's just meetings. normal. On the other side, it's like actually right, do like, My next one, like I, my next tattoo I personally want to tattoo on myself is an astronaut. Mm. What do you guys? Right? I, I want. I was gonna I ask them, to do they believe in God? I just need some space or pet peeves. That's a good one. Thank you. I thought Where do you think myself. you're gonna get that? Probably. I so what I have think, a, chat? It's probably gonna be on above my knee on my left side. Hmm. I already got a tattoo above my knee. And it's the most stupidest tattoo. All right, Pet Peeves looks imagine. like it's winning. All right, let's do Pet Peeves. <laughs> like, it's not what stupid. What is it? Hey, guys. Um, what is your pet peeve? Oh, Ooh. that's a great question. I like how they keep saying, like, what's up, Lyle? That. Like, they're like... Oh, oh, I think I got my answer. Okay, uh, like, I'm their chaperone. Like, bad manners. That's a good one. Like, I don't like how people, like, when they cut their food, it's like, and they scrape the plate. You know what I mean? And then when you hold the door for someone and they don't say thank you? That's a huge one. <laughs> yeah, those are like I, my biggest pet peeves. I grew up in, the, I grew up, um, in Florida, North Carolina, compatible. before Pennsylvania. And so I feel like a lot of my pet peeves are like manners that are like respect that people don't have. I also hate mm -hmm. um, ego. Any sort of like ounce of ego, I will just walk the other way. And I have... Um, maybe like a downfall of mine is that like I don't have mm. um, like the ability to stop myself when I'm mm. like mad about something. So like mm. I'll tell you like a stranger um, if they're being rude. So that's like my downfall. Her friends are blowing up her phone because they're so excited that she, like, she found a boyfriend. Blatant like lack of respect for people. And I feel like that's you would good. feel the same way in the that's field that good. you're in. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Sometimes they try disrespecting me, but it's like, you know, in the field, of, you, it's all about building a bond with Fuck the people yeah, you man. work with. So at first, they're going to, like, try to push your limits, see what you're about, you know, and you just got to build that that chemistry up with them. Now, like, they listen to everything I say. Like, if I ask them, can they do me a favor, they do it, because, like, the goal with the company that I work with, we just try to make them feel like that they're independent, that, mm -hmm. you know. So, like, I'll ask them, like, hey... Let's go take out the trash and then we'll go take out the trash. Something like that, you know, something easy tasks that you can do, stuff like that. And it, it requires a lot of patience. I like to think I have a lot of patience, but I don't know. But I got a question for you. What's okay. your biggest insecurity? My biggest insecurity? <sighs> mm -hmm. All right, after this, we got okay. to get out of here. You know what's been on my mind recently? I could theoretically like, just, I mean, we don't have a new next date. So like, I could just let genuine. this go for another two hours. Um, I can't run to save my life. Like, I don't know how to casually jog. My ankles start to hurt. And my roommate, <laughs> Alice, was like, Lauren, do you, like, work on the strength of your ankles? And I was like, no. And she said, do you stretch your ankles? And I was like, I don't think I do. Um, so my biggest insecurity is definitely when I go to the gym and I start to run on the treadmill and I'm like, I don't know if I look like an idiot or not right now. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, which yeah. probably speaks to a grander thing, but okay. I, what's your, what's your biggest insecurity? I, I, I kind of can relate to that. Cause like when I go on the treadmill, like I'm full sprint, like I don't, 
I'm full sprint. Like, there's no holding back. I'm just the fitness. Like, the cops are after me. You know what I mean? I'm full sprint. <laughs> but uh, my biggest insecurity, oh, man. I already know this answer. I snore, like, real loud. No. That's my I cannot answer. deal with snores. Yeah, well, it's not, Paul. It's not like that. Ooh, super point of contention, loud, but, like, finally. It's just like, and then, like, I was told, like, some people, like, me, sometimes you hum in your sleep. Like, I'll be like, All right. hmm. <laughs> So like I guess sleeping is like my biggest insecurity. So like that's why I only get like four hours of sleep. Like it's terrible. No way. I hate okay. sleeping. Yeah, I hate sleeping. Harry, I will I will sleep twelve plus hours. I'm no, jealous. No I'm worries. Jealous. No worries. I'm so hesitant to that is so end this. Yeah, like, All right, like I was happen. about like five a.m. and I was like, and I went to bed at like. Hey guys. Our time is, is, is coming to an end, but uh, how do you think this date went? I enjoyed my convo. I agree. Uh, I think she's an amazing woman. I feel like, you know... He said she's an amazing like woman. Like that. Like, I he said she's an amazing... That's like something you say about your person, fucking like, wife for five great years. Great I think... Mindset, yeah, it's super that. sweet. Harry, thank you for saying that. I feel like we vibe, like, in a personal mm -hmm. level, which is really nice, and... I agree. I agree 100%. No doubt in my mind. Thank you guys so much for coming on Gek Date. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Lyle. It was nice meeting you, too. And, nice to meet you, Harry. And thank, a shout out to my family, because I know they're watching. They're my friends. So Yeah, shout out to my roommates. <laughs> Love I'm you sorry, guys. I had to put that out there. I'm sorry. I just... Hell yeah. Thank, thank you guys so much for coming on. You guys have a good night. You too, thank Lyle. You. That was dope. Damn. That was that was pretty pog. What do we think of that chat? Well, let's open up the line. That was incredibly pop. I'm still, I'm still taking it back, dude. That was so sweet. That was, that was bold, dude. That was bold. She's an amazing woman. That's a, that's like, damn. They've, they've been married for like ten years, dude. If they get married, I'll officiate their wedding. I'll drive to Pennsylvania. I want the exclusive live stream access. Call from Dr. Oops. Dr. Oops? Hello. Dr. Oops, how do you think this date went? Lyle, I gotta tell you, I really they they were they were vibing, Gek. They were vibing hard. I, I I loved it. I think it's true love. I, I called it at the very beginning. I, I was just thinking they're getting married. Hmm. You think so? Right when I it mean, started. I was saying I think like so. she's an amazing woman. That is that is something you said to your wife, dude. It was yeah. I mean, it was smooth. It was like it was so smooth, guys. It like, was. He just yeah. He said it so. I was very impressed. Like I want yeah, someone no, to tell no, me I'm an amazing woman. Like I'm, I was a little jealous, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, have you ever thought of doing this for yourself? You know, like doing dates with with you and other other geckos. No, no, no. It's hard to find other geckos out there on the dating scene, you know? But look, it's not about me. Wow. It's about Harry and Lynn Lauren. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm kind of curious. Did you watch the whole stream? Uh, I didn't watch the whole stream. I think I watched the last two The last two dates. Okay. And what did you think? How did you, what did you think about this date compared to the last date? Well, I mean, I think the last date, I'm not going to lie to you, Gek, it was a little, it was a little awkward. Um, I mean, but, you know, dates in general are awkward. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, this, this date, in comparison to the last one, I don't know. I feel, I feel like they really had a connection. You know what I mean? They, 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 they were, they were even talking before you even got in there. They were. I mean, I mean, you guys couldn't even hear it. They were, they were just, you know, it's like, it's like. Uh, like the there was a pressure mounting, right? Like like wa like water blowing out of a, a pipe or something. And as soon as I hit the unmute button on them, it just it just the passion exploded. Instantly. Yeah, just a guy, yeah, guy, a geyser of passion. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. 
What, uh, you think they're going to get married? I really do. Yeah. I, uh, it, it, when they first started talking, I, I was just like, oh, they're good. They're getting married. And then where they, I think, I think they said they were, they might've even both been from the same place. But they they, 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 I don't know. They, like, yeah, I feel like were, it's they possible. Were, they were, they were, they, they might've been the only two people from here that were like from the same place. Yeah. I think that's wild. I think there's a real shot. Gek. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. That would be really funny. Well, man, yeah. thank you so much for calling. I hope you have a great rest of the night. I appreciate you sharing. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jack. Uh, thanks for taking my call. I want to take one more caller. I want someone who I want an opinion on what the best date was tonight. Because look, don't forget, you know, we had we had we had some good dates. Call from. I want to sort of do a Tony. little post of L. Tony. What's going on? Tony, what do you think was the best date tonight? Who who was your MVP dater? Who was your who, yeah MVP dater? My MVP data? Ah. I think your name was Johnny. Johnny? I'm thinking Johnny. Did you watch the whole stream? I did. And I'm thinking Johnny. There wasn't a Johnny. What do you mean there wasn't a Johnny? There wasn't a Johnny. You don't tell me if there wasn't a Johnny. There was. Call from Emily. Emily. Hi. Emily, what, what did you think was the best date tonight? Oh, that. That last one was really getting me. It, it, it made my, it, it gave me butterflies, honestly. <laughs> it gave me butterflies. Yeah, it was, um, um, it was, wait, there, wait. There wasn't a Johnny, was there? Am I crazy? Am I being, I'm being gaslit heavily right now. Hello? Emily? <laughs> eh, what the fuck? Emily! We're taking a call. Someone call in. We need a we need a proper post evaluation to this evening. And I will not leave without one. Call from Christina. Christina? It's me. How are you doing, Christina? Oh, I'm so great. Matt, meet the meet the meet the stream. Christina, what'd you think of uh what'd you think of the dates tonight? Okay, so two out of four ain't bad geck. Okay. Um so clearly the Let's last go one... let's go through them, honestly. Alright, let's start with the first okay. one. What'd you think what'd you think All of the right. first one? The first one I think Honestly, I would give that one a 7 out of 10. There was like, there was some chemistry there, I think, but the guy was definitely nervous and he definitely talked a little bit too much. But, you know, they, I think they could be friends. I think they could be acquaintances. Maybe it's just not too intimate. Um, I, I, I agree that maybe, you know, there could have been a, a little bit better of a job of, you know, connecting and asking follow-up questions and stuff but i i it didn't seem like it came from an ignorant place it did seem like it came from a very nervous place you know hopefully yeah, we'll be able to overcome no, that absolutely. next time and like I, I know somebody had said something about how you know it's a very challenging format it is but also like dating in general is a challenging format it is you know is. i agree with that i agree with that and, and it's like you're never comfortable on your first date either so you know, um, I don't know what anybody expects. And with this, I think you kind of have to set your expectations low. And if something good comes out of it, then something good comes out of it. And what'd you think of the second you know, date, Miranda and Sabrina? I really, really liked them. At first, I was kind of like great character arc. By the way, I, I yeah, still got yeah, over that. no, absolutely, absolutely. You know, just 
We went from shy to, you know, just both just very incredible personalities and like meshed very well intellectually, I think, too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they it, it like they they both discovered that they were into uh, biology and like science mm-hmm. stuff. That was a that was a that was a surprise. Yeah, yeah, that um, that that one was good. I was definitely rooting for them in the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, now the third one. <laughs> um, I was, I was really. What's his name? Israel. He so sweet, like such a soft spoken guy. He was. And yeah. I got to give him props for, you know, showing up and being totally. there. And it's just uh, that's that's a very challenging way to start your first date <laughs> it in was. front of several thousand people. I think I don't know. I don't know how many people are watching, but um, that's a lot of pressure. He swung hard, but uh, you know what? Again, the bravery of this man. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I think I think the um, the gal Jess, uh, she she was she was a champion about it. You know, she um, she she got through it with him. <laughs> it was very nice. It was um, a very nice date. And the last one, fireworks, man! I, True. Like, the, like I said, two out of four ain't bad. The second one and the last one knocked it out of the park. I, you know what, you know what? What'd you say your name was? Christina. Christina, I agree with you. Two out of four ain't bad. I think this was pretty good. And and you know what? I I think everyone gave their full effort. None none of them went. None of them were catastrophic. I they all no, none of them no. none of them went poorly enough that I was rooting against anyone. You know. No, 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 not. and I and I, I hope that that I didn't come across as if I was rooting. No, anybody. no, not at all. Yeah, no, I, I just, I like that last one. It just kind of reminded me like of when I first started dating my, uh, my person, mm. <laughs> and like I was getting very emotional, mm. um, through it actually, and I was just like, these people need to like do something about that. You know, and I didn't expect to like come here and like actually see people like making connections or um, like finding things in common. I thought it was gonna be really fucking awkward. Well, but um, you know, that's you're, uh, you're that's a, a magic, thing. you're a magic gec- gecko, man. You know, you, sometimes your expectations get defied, and you know, sometimes yeah. they get met, but. But thank you so much for calling in, Christy, and I appreciate your doing this post evaluation with me. Of course. Have Anytime. Have a good rest of the night. You too. Bye bye. Beautiful. Been a pleasure. Been a pleasure gag dating with you all this evening. I hope you all find love in your own personal lives. I'll let you guys know when you can apply for the next gag date. Um. Thank you all for. Thank. I'm so glad that we all got to participate in this exper- experiment together. This was this was intimate for out for all of us I think